Hi everyone, Niall here. Welcome back to the 8 to 20 BIM channel. Today we're going to talk about why certain revisions can sometimes be greyed out or non-editable in a Revit sheet. Um, this is something that I was actually recently asked by a colleague of mine and I just thought I'd do a very quick kind of overview video on why this happens, what we can do to resolve it and a couple of things just to be cognizant of that you really shouldn't do if you come across this issue. Okay, so um, I won't take too much time today. Uh, as always, if you enjoy it, you know what to do down below. Hit the like and subscribe. Any additional comments or notes you want to add for others, other, other viewers or anything to see that might be useful, make sure you add them down below as well and we have a bit of a dialogue going, okay? So, let's get into resolving it. So, why would you have a grayed out revision on your sheet that you cannot edit? And what can we do to resolve it, okay? So in this instance, you can see that I have the basic structural template open, for example. And you can see that we've had multiple issues added to this drawing sheet, okay? And let's say, without getting too preachy about why you shouldn't edit revisions during a project, that there was a user error at some point during the project, or some contingency that we can't foresee in this circumstance. And someone needed to remove one of these existing revisions from the sheet, okay? If they go into the Properties tab on the left-hand side and they go to Edit the Revisions on the Sheet, they'll see, for example, looking at Sequence 2, Sequence 1 is perfectly fine. We can turn on and off the, the, the revision on the sheet. Same as Sequence 3, but in Sequence 2, you can see that this is locked out. And there's no good reason for this from the Sheet Properties perspective. We can't, we can't tell why. And the reason why this typically happens is twofold. It's normally because primarily that there is a cloud that's not visible on the sheet that needs to be removed from the sheet. And what I mean by not visible is that the cloud hasn't been turned off through visibility graphics or hasn't been hidden as an element in view. I can show the reveal hidden elements here and you can see that there's no cloud here. Okay, It's that there's a property in the revisioning system that needs to be reactivated so that this can be shown. Okay. And ultimately, that's because the cloud and tag is not shown on the revision set in the sheet issues revisions menu. Okay, so let's resolve this. Going into the manage tab, you go to additional settings and sheet issues and revisions. You get the the revision creation dialog menu here. Okay, and as you can see, the first and the second sequence have been marked as issues and they are set on the far hand, right hand side to show none okay show none means it doesn't show the revision tag on elements and it doesn't show the cloud bubbles okay so obviously we want to remove some hidden um cloud or revision cloud sorry on the second sequence so that we can enable it to be editable and removed from the sheet okay so just so you know as a kind of a, a preface i'm going to leave the numbering here as per project just to avoid any user confusion, okay? Because the sequence number will remain consistent with the revision number, okay? So just preface that there now, okay? So looking at sequence two, you can see that we actually have the issued box ticked and we have shown set to none, okay? What we need to do is we need to ensure that the cloud and tag is turned on, okay? When we press okay, you can see that, okay, there was the cloud that we couldn't see. When I select this, and I go to delete it, however, you can see after pressing delete, nothing has come off, okay? The cloud is still there. And the reason for that, going back into that menu, through the manage, additional settings, issues and revisions, is that the issue tick box is still on. And Revit won't let you alter the state of a revision after the fact it's been issued, and rightfully so, okay? So we also have to turn this off. Then, pressing OK, I can select the cloud bubble here and press delete and look what happens on the right hand side in the red box okay when i press delete nothing has happened nothing has happened there at all if i undo that i can press eh and also nothing happens by just hiding it in the view okay so it's just to be cognizant that by just deleting or hiding the rev cloud you don't actually remove the rev cloud from the drawing you then need to go into the revisions on the sheets but you can see now that the revisions on sheet dialog is showing this as now a selection criteria that we can edit. It's no longer grayed out. So we can tick that off and look what happens to the numbers on the sequence, okay? Pressing okay, see that 
our first issue is now still on the drawing sheet and our third issue is now still on the drawing sheet but we've removed the second one. Let's assume it was user error or something that drove that. So that is how you solve why that's how you solve basically the, 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 the graying out or the non-editable function of revisions on a sheet revision. Okay. There are a couple of things I want to preface here, okay? Um, so first of all, you should not change previously issued revisions lightly. You should really consider them. If there has been a user error somewhere in the project, then it's better to sit down and identify where the error has arisen from and create a protocol to avoid it happening again than to retrospectively go after and remove revisions from sheets that have previously been issued. Very bad for data management. It's not advisable. It's inconsistent and it looks unprofessional. So generally do not change state of revisions on a sheet after they've been issued. That's just rule 101. Okay. Secondly, there's a couple of workarounds here that people have suggested in forums and the likes that they have used in order to control this particular problem. And this particular problem is it's kind of hard to put your finger on, um, but what it is, is we have the, the revision is grayed out, we cannot edit it, okay? So in some instances, there has been suggestions that people should select all bubbles associated. So um, if you were to right click, let's say, and select all instances of a bubble in its sequence in the Revit model and hide it, technically you can then turn off the visibility of the the revision provided the issue tick box isn't checked. Do not do that because you don't know if you're changing the presentation state of other drawings elsewhere. A small project might get away with it because you're intimately knowledgeable of the project, but on a larger project, you'll cause grief. Okay. Finally, there's another suggestion that in the sheet issues and revisions dialogue to completely and utterly delete the revision and then just to merely add it in and move it back into the position and relabel it and associate it again to all the sheets that it previously was associated to. And by virtue of doing that, you get rid of all the hidden revision clouds that were causing the problem and leaving the revision ineditable on the sheet. The real problem with this is, again, if you're intimately familiar with a small project, then you can do that in the knowledge that you can quickly update the other sheets that had this revision sequence on it quite easily. But if you're dealing with a project with several hundred drawings, then you really would want to make sure that your drawing register had every revision absolutely correct to without user error before you were to undertake this, because this brings in the likelihood of significant user error and existing sheets that had revisions that weren't problematic losing those revisions. Okay. So I just wanted to give you a couple of contingencies and things not to do when solving this as well. So very simply, that brings an end to this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, if you have some comments that you'd like to add to it, go down below. Uh, I also have a post that breaks this down into a more linear and quite frankly, more eloquently phrased uh, tutorial than this. So if you prefer kind of a linear work through um, as a point by point basis, make sure to click on that link there in the, uh, in the description box as well. Okay. So as ever, I hope you enjoyed it. Mind yourselves and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.